Is it hard to access affordable, healthy food? Then listen carefully. Daryl Addison, an African-American inventor, has patented a process for growing food on demand. He called it Torpedo Pot. Torpedo Pot is a fully automated flower pot that gives you control over your plant's environment. All you do is add soil, seeds, and plants to the flower pot and watch it grow. Yes, Torpedo Pot grows the rest. Visit www.torpedopot.com. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I'm Ongil Zelalem, bringing you this report. This is truly a proud moment for me. Ethiopians protesting the Western media as well as the Western governments. And this means a lot to me, you guys. You have no idea. First, watch this clip. We'll come back and discuss. Hi, everyone. This is Mati from Addis Ababa, Mesquel Square. As you can see, there's millions of Ethiopians out there telling the U.S. go back. Do not get involved in our politics, okay? Ethiopia knows how to run a country. We're not one of American states. Well, we're a country, so you've got to leave us alone, okay? All these people are trying to tell you we're fine, we've got, we've got a government, we're not going to compromise. There's no negotiation with TPLF. All we want to do is we can handle it, U.S or whatever, CNN, BBC, shame on you. This is Addis Ababa. As you can see, everybody's out here, happy, shouting, determined to fight TPLF, and telling you, the US government, everyone else who's following this, stay away from Ethiopian politics. Just leave us alone. Hands off. This is Africa. You know you think Africa is stupid, but we're not. We know where you're heading. So you've got to respect us. This is what everyone is telling us. So America, stay away from Ethiopian politics. We've been here longer than you are. So you've got to leave us alone. That's all everybody's saying now. As you saw, that was a protest that was held in Addis Ababa in Muscal Square. And those were thousands and thousands of people that were out there trying to protest the lies, the misinformation that is being spread by CNN, BBC, AP, Reuters, you just name them. All of those Western medias, they've been lying on Ethiopia and what has been going on. I don't know if you've seen um, any of the pictures up close. Maybe I'll put it up here for you to see. They also had signs like USA stop sucking our blood. So like they are coming from a place of just frustration because US has been putting sanctions on us, telling us we have to negotiate with rebel groups, telling us that we just have to, you know, believe the lies that they're telling us. They have been trying to force us to do things that they want us to do, not just the US, the UN. Just imagine the UN is supposed to serve the whole entire world, but the UN have been working against Ethiopia for some unknown reason. And the I've reported, I've done reports on this before, the whistleblowers in the UN saying that they're being sidelined and there are employers, high ranking officials coming straight from the US, going to the place where, you know, there's war and trying to handle business behind the actual UN workers that are working and reporting from Ethiopia. So many things that is going on. So, um, the fact that my people are waking up to, to this and saying, wait a minute, we're fighting with our brothers and sisters, but who, who is actually running the show? Who is, uh, you know, the puppeteer? And waking up and saying, no, we're not going to allow this. We're going to unite and make sure to defend our country. That is the most beautiful or something that I can see and you can ask for in this horrible situation that we are in, you know. Both sides, it's Ethiopian's blood that is being shed. And for it to continue on like this, just because some people can benefit, it's just cruel and it does not make sense. But this was not the only protest that was there. There was one 
uh, that was held in eastern part of Ethiopia. There was one that was held in the US in Washington DC and there they were even pointing out and calling out the Democratic Party, specifically the Biden administration because somehow they they really forgot all the promises and commitments they made to the people. We deserve true democracy. And share, 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 direct, please. And millions and millions of people should... Mamberkak! So as you see, Ethiopians are coming together to defend their country and to say no to misinformation, to lies on our country, and for any war that is being waged against our people, we're not going to stand for it and we're going to speak up. Anyways, guys, let us know down below what your thoughts are about Ethiopians coming together to protest the US, the UK, the UN, and the mainstream medias that are spreading lies about Ethiopia. I am Ungil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Colonization never ended in the white supremacist system. And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on amazon.com.